just a, a stunning dog to look at. And in a very short little package. They're smart little dogs. <laughs> You're looking at the Boykin Spaniel, a dog bred by South Carolinians for South Carolinian hunters. The dog actually was developed in part to be able to travel with hunters in their boats, and that's part of why the dog has the nickname of the dog that doesn't rock the boat. These dogs are so loved by the state of South Carolina that not only are they the state dog, they have their own official day. September 1st is actually Boykin Spaniel Day in South Carolina because it's the first day of duck hunting. And twice, South Carolina has used an image of the Boykin for their popular duck stamp. These affectionate dogs are a relatively new breed. In fact, the Boykin can trace its origins back to a pair of strays found in South Carolina in 1905. So their mate, Dumpy, who's a male, with Singo, who's a female, and lo and behold, there is the Boykin Spaniel breed. And the first thing people fall in love with is the Boykin Spaniel's beautiful liver-to-chocolate-colored double coat. They have a coat that can go anywhere from being sort of slightly wavy to sort of super curly, almost like a poodle, except it's got a softer, more silky texture. Another striking feature, the Boykin eyes. They have the most beautiful yellow amber eyes against the brown liver color. And the Boykin Spaniel has a soft mouth that won't chew up or destroy the things it retrieves. Finally, the Boykin is an extremely intelligent dog. These dogs can even be trained to find an ancient reptile on the brink of extinction. Yep, that's right. Meet a pack of Boykins that are helping to save turtles. Say, we love tennis balls, but we're easy on turtles. It all started with a hike in the woods. All I said was, Buster, what's that? And he walked up to the turtle, and he smelled it, and he looked at it, and we continued our walk. And just a few minutes later, to my amazement, he came running up to me with one gently held in his jaws. Owner John Rucker was amazed when each walk became a turtle hunt for Buster. And almost immediately, my second one, uh, Sparky, it was just monkey see, monkey do, and he started finding me turtles too, and they got very competitive at it. Soon, the entire family of Boykins was hunting turtles without ever harming a single one. You find your turtle? Not far away in Tennessee, another John, John Bird, was beginning a study on box turtle populations. John loves box turtles and is worried human development could drive them into extinction. Turtles have been around for over 200 million years, and what they can't survive is uh, human activities. They cannot survive habitat destruction. So John partnered with several universities to begin a large-scale study to find solutions to the problem. But collecting the data he needed turned out to be harder than expected. We would send out a team of students, and they would intensively search for box turtles. And as it turns out, that's a real challenge. Students were only finding about one turtle for every four hours of searching. And John Bird knew there had to be more out there. That's when he got wind of the turtle dogs. I was fortunate enough to uh, run into John Rucker at a conference over in North Carolina, and he agreed to bring his dogs over and help us. The Boykin pack began working alongside the students, and together they were suddenly finding four to 12 turtles in one hour. Another beautiful female. You can see the dogs love their job as they eagerly sniff out these critters. And of course, the dogs never hurt a single turtle. The dogs are soft mouthed. The uh, turtles represent a prize to them that they're going to get a reward for, and that reward is going to be hugs and kisses and praise. Good boy. 405 grams. Each turtle is caught, weighed, measured, and then released. If we didn't use the dogs, we'd never find these turtles. The dogs are so cute, and very efficient workers, and always a blast to work with. Thanks to the Boykin's keen sense of smell and desire to please, the turtle study is a success. And John could not be prouder that his dogs are part of something important. Without my Boykins, my life would be dull. I could probably do my fly fishing on my own, but everything else pretty much depends on them.
Like these turtle dogs, all it takes to train a Boykin Spaniel is some time and energy. They're very interested in interacting with you, and that's what training's all about. See it? See it? But like most sporting dogs, Boykin Spaniels need to be active. They thrive on it, so they may not make the best pets for an apartment dweller. One thing you have to remember is to take care of their ears. They have those long, floppy ears where moisture can get trapped and tend toward infection. You have to be careful about keeping them clean and dry. With proper care and attention, Boykins will usually live 14 to 16 years. And in that lifespan, they make good companions. Loyal, loving, great family dog. One way to bond with your Boykin is during grooming, because it can take a little more time than with some other dogs. So it's on the way to being difficult. To sum up, Boykin Spaniels are high-energy dogs that need space and stimuli to thrive. You have to pay extra attention to their ears, and brushing them thoroughly once a week will help keep their coat in great shape. The Boykin is eager to please, and therefore easy to train. Finally, Boykin Spaniels make good pets for all types of families, including ones with children. I honestly think that I would risk my life for my Boykins just as any mom or dad would do for their children. That's good for oh, yeah. Each breed is wonderful in its own way, but some dogs go above and beyond to show us their devotion and bravery. That's why we're honoring these pooches with a segment all their own. And now it's time to meet today's wonder dog. What a good girl. Roselle is more than just a good dog. She's a guide dog. Let's go. Her owner, Michael Hingson, has been blind since birth. She has been my buddy and my friend uh, ever since I got her. We have a very special relationship. And even right from the beginning, she was very confident in her job. Good girl. Michael worked for a Fortune 500 computer firm located on the 78th floor of the World Trade Center. On September 11, 2001, Roselle's guiding abilities and the strength of their teamwork would be put to the ultimate test. Our first indication that something was wrong was we heard kind of a muffled explosion, we felt the building shudder, and then it began to tip. His co-worker David described what he saw to Michael. He started shouting, there's fire and smoke, we gotta get out of here, we need to get out of here right now. And sitting next to me on my left side was a dog who was wagging her tail and yawning and not indicating that she felt in any danger. They took to the stairs, encountering many frightened people on the way. People stopped and froze on the stairs and said they couldn't go on, and literally we had a group hug to get them started. In the most intense situation of their lives, Roselle and Michael worked together to lead and everyone followed. As long as she was doing what I asked her and she was behaving in a calm way, then I knew that I could trust her. And likewise, she knew that she could trust me and that I wasn't afraid. It is all teamwork as we work together wherever we are. Finally, 45 minutes later, Michael, Roselle, and his thankful co-workers made it out. She saved my life and I saved hers. She focused, she did exactly what I would want her to do. Uh, and I think she's a great companion. Way to go, wonder dog, Roselle. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Still more to come on Dogs 101. What makes this little guy a hero? And is this the only breed with triangular eyes? But first, it's time to play Pick the Pooch. Which ancient deer-like hound has the ability to jump as well as the rabbits he hunts in his native Spain? Can you guess which breed it is? The answer when we come back. Which ancient hound jumps high and broad just like the rabbits he hunts in his homeland of Spain? It's the Ibizan hound. The ability to jump over rough terrain makes this deer-like dog a great hunter. 